Thank you for food, for school, mom and dad. Tia is especially grateful for Missy and Mike Wilson, because a year ago, she was in Haiti waiting to be adopted. What? Oh! Tia now has three new brothers and a sister, Naika, who was also an orphan back then. The girls had no idea about fun things so many kids take for granted, like playing in the snow. Naika is seven. When Naika first came, she was very sad. <laughs> Tia is six. As the year went on, she opened up more and more. I think they've taught me to never give up, to never lose hope. Where? Come beyond. La? We met the Wilsons just days after Haiti's earthquake, trying to rescue Tia and Naika. They had been trying to adopt the girls for months. So all we have to do is show up at the embassy and we get to go home? A week later, Wilson got the call. Haiti and the U.S. would allow Tia to be airlifted to America and a new home in Nashville. But Naika had to wait. Her case was further down the list. We're going to do everything we can to get her. <laughs> Wilson brought Naika home a couple of weeks later. Eventually, nearly 1,100 Haitian children came to the U.S. under special humanitarian provisions because of the earthquake, an unprecedented effort that brought families like the Wilsons together. There have been challenges. There have been like little fun. Yeah, that's what we like to look at it as opportunities. I want to eat that. There are the usual issues like getting children to eat. Listen, we don't get anything else until we eat our food. I like it. And the emotional dilemma of what to tell the girls when they're troubled by memories of the quake. More than anything, that, that they're safe here now and that their friends are safe. Haiti is never far away. Mike and Missy have returned more than a dozen times, doing volunteer work through their church. They've helped build a school in one devastated community. They bring supplies to the shelter where their daughters found safety. Dozens of kids are still there. Tia, stop shaking the table. A year later, Tia, a kindergartner, loves soccer. Naika, a first grader, wants to be a dancer. Mike and I joke and say, it's like they've just always been here. From the chaos of Haiti <laughs> to the suburbs of Tennessee, two little girls who've come a very long way. Ron Allen, NBC News, Nashville.